and welcome to sunny Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing a uh, former champion of the club, Mr. Darren Lauder. Darren, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Joy. Darren, um, we're holding a, a special gala event for the club in a couple of weeks and uh, we've got together uh, a few different interviews from uh, various people throughout the years and it's great to have you on board today. Um, we just wanted to ask a few questions about your time in St. Peter's and when you first started. Yeah, I got to, uh, I joined St. Peter's in the under-17s, um, 1981 and 82. Um, yeah, originally, um, I played with the, uh, the Bulldogs, yep. uh, got the Bulldogs, uh, under-15s through under-11s uh, through under-15s. Yep. And uh, yeah, sick and tired of getting beaten by you guys, uh, so I uh, decided to join you. Okay. And um, I think uh, your first year at the club, uh, you had you know, not bad success playing uh, in finals. Yeah, well, no, the first year was a big thrill for me. It was the first time I played in finals. We ended up coming third that year. Um, you know, I learned a lot about uh, football then, yeah. and uh, it was just a uh, just a great thrill. And then, uh, you know, the culmination of that uh, being uh, awarded captaincy the next year, and uh... yeah, so uh, first premiership I ever ever won was in 1982. Um, that was uh, obviously that was the ultimate thrill of uh, winning the premiership and. Uh, it's uh, very, very fond memories of, of, of that year, uh, that victory, um, and yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, you know, yeah, we, we were fortunate enough to win a couple, you know, previous to that, but uh, that was probably one of the uh, premierships that stick fondly in my mind. Um, celebrating late into the night that night, down in uh, Tudor Street, East Bentley. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely night. Now, it's like a couple of that night talk. Now, the person who was uh, responsible for getting you down to the club. Yeah, uh, without, without a doubt, Erwin McGuinness um, was responsible for getting me there. If it wasn't for Erwin, I would not have played at St. Peter's. I'm um, pretty confident about that. Fantastic uh, fellow. Yeah, great, great guy. He was the coach. He, um, I wanted to play for him. Um, I knew him most of my life. He lived around the corner. I used to hang out with Peter. Uh, Peter McGuinness and the boys in the area uh, mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit growing up. and um, This place used to be a destination for Absolutely, us, yeah, yeah. Before, before we went out at night. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the best pool in the area. <laughs> 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 but uh, just, uh, you know, I really yeah, enjoyed my time playing uh, under the hall. Yeah. And um, there's been a bit of folklore and uh, hearsay about uh, this so called nickname of uh, Hedda. <laughs> now, um, I've got my thoughts, but you probably better tell us. So. Yeah, well, it sort of it sort of stuck. How I how I got it is when um, when I was born, the first thing the doctor said was, "Look at the size of the head." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so and since then, my, my dad just picked on me head, and it stuck everywhere I've gone. And I well, like your head, your head has been stuck. Well, well, I'd, no. I'd like to say that I've grown into the head since, uh, but. Yeah, it was, a bit of a, it, was a, it was a bit of a struggle carrying, carrying this thing around for the first few years. <laughs> there, there used to be a bit of a strut and a bit of a wobble, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, no, all good. Um, and uh, after you left your time at St Peter's, you moved on to bigger and better things, playing uh, the highest level of football at Melbourne. Yeah, uh, 83, 84, I was playing in the, um, in the end of uh, 19s at Melbourne. Uh, we won the premiership in 83. Um, Brett Bailey was in that, uh, in that yeah. team. Um, uh, so that was uh, that was a great uh, great thrill to actually play the MCG grand final there and, and win a grand final. Um, 85, 86, 85, I started playing singles. Great thrill. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was a great thrill. So I played the last half of the season in, in eighty five. Next two games or the first two games of um, of eighty six, then I broke my right arm. Came back a little. Early and I broke it again, so I pretty much missed that season. Then the next season, I broke this arm pretty badly and missed for the first game of the year. So I missed a couple Cold of years, year. yeah. And then I got, came back, played a couple low uh, with Fitzroy after that, but that was pretty much, uh, pretty much it, mate. Yeah, and then uh, business and uh, family life took you over to the States. Yeah, yeah, I was over in uh, Boston in uh, 92 and then moved to Northern California, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, in 2000, you could play and, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I love Australia, but I uh, love, uh, love San Francisco Bay mm -hmm. area as well. And um, at your time at St. Peter's, uh, I guess between the late 70s and late 80s, uh, the club had a really, uh, yeah, really prosperous mm -hmm. year as far as uh, talent goes. Yeah. And uh, 
some of the fellas that went on to play uh, football with you at Melbourne, because that was our zone at the time, St. Peter's. Yep. Um, well, you, you look at all of the players that St. Peter's um, <laughs> developed who played at the highest level. Well, it was extraordinary, considering all of the other uh, teams that we played. I think there were very few people uh, that, uh, that made that uh, the highest level. But, you know, we've got Jerrellingworth, Paul O'Brien, the Fitch brothers, Johnny and Teddy. Um, uh, Brett Bailey. Yeah, it was just uh, it was just a thrill to be a part of that that, that St Peter's club. Uh, and you didn't play with the Regalos at St Peter's because they they came and gone a little bit early. But Joe and Frank and Galo also yeah, played, played with played Melbourne, before, yeah. and they played in Melbourne with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing how many players from that um, probably a five year period with one club and went on to, to play the highest level. And uh, with your time in the States and uh, in Boston, uh, had a lot to do with uh, getting football off the ground in Boston? Yeah, yeah, there's the US uh, national competition, um, usfooty.com, I think the website is. Uh, we, we started um, the, the Boston team, yeah, there was in Boston with uh, a bunch of my friends, and uh, uh, the first national championship was in 1999 in Cincinnati. Uh, I think there's probably about 20 clubs competing in that, uh, that championship. We won it um, against Johnny Lane on this team. He uh, was co captain coach of uh, the Santa Cruz Blues. Big fella. Big, uh, big fella. Big unit. Um, and then we, uh, the following year, we played the same team in the championship and, and we got close to them. So we won. Um, but it's, 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 it's thrived since then. Um, and there's pretty much you know, a footy team in every major city in the US. So Boston team. I think there's a number of teams in Boston now, a number of teams in California, women's teams. So it's really, yeah, really mm. developed well. Mm. And um, finally, uh, family life now, living in uh, California. Uh, you've got uh, a young daughter. Yeah, two, two daughters, a young one and an old one. Uh, one's right. a Spirit University and, um, a, and a nine year old. So life's pretty good. Uh, has not always been roses and chocolates here uh, in my time in, uh, in the US, but uh, uh, it sort of worked out pretty well. Yeah, well, in closing, just uh, a couple of fond memories from the club, just to wrap things up. Yeah, it's just great to be a part of an organisation, um, a great organisation, a powerful organisation, um, a well-run uh, organisation. Uh, and I get to meet a lot of great people and um, had a lot of great times, both on and off the field. Um, Bonds of last river. Absolutely. And, and I'm very, very proud to, to call myself St. Peter's guy. I was there, there for two years, but I'm very, very proud to call myself St. Peter's guy. And, um, yeah, it's beautiful. Well, on behalf of the football club, Darren, I'd just like to thank you very much for your time today. Thank you for sharing your magnificent house in uh, beautiful Mexico with us, and uh, all the best.